everybody. My name is Savannah. Uh, I am Jeannie's assistant. And Jeannie is joining us today from her barn because she uses wild oregano oil all the time on her herd of 11 horses. Let's see if I can show you this. Three remedies here where I have mixed them up and they all contain wild oregano and I use them with the horses, but they're the same remedies I use for myself, for the kids or whatever. So I thought this would be a great place to shoot because I can show you guys, you know, what everything looks okay. like. And wild oregano kills bacteria, viruses, fungi, and certain parasites. So it's a broad spectrum. You have to understand the way nature works and the way herbal medicine works. So wild oregano presents with that burning, but it's actually anti-inflammatory. Come and get my free ebook on what you need to know about wild oregano. Just click the link in my bio or come to listen to your gut.com slash woo, W-O-O. I, my horses are all, well, most of them are, are wild or semi-feral. So I don't even halter them. So I'll take, for example, um, this is a diluted wild oregano in a spray bottle. So this is what I use if they get like wounds or um, scrapes or bad insects, bites or whatever. And I take the lid off and I let them smell it. And I say, do you want this? And then they, they are like, yeah, because once they've had it, they know how good it is. And even, even the, the wild ones when they first came, and you couldn't touch them at all. They smelled it because their body wisdom knows. Mm -hmm. And I remember one of the wild mustangs, she stood there. And she let me, and yeah, she jumped as the squirt hit her because they're not used to things like sprays. Mm -hmm. But then when I asked her again, a little bit later, she stood for it again. Wow. So they totally know what's good for them and how to use it. So um, this is also, the other reason I like using this with the horses, it's, it's a natural insect repellent. Oh, wow. So yeah, I use it really dilute um, just for areas like high concentration areas, like their udder or their sheaths where the skin is, it's, you know, it's like our genitalia. The skin is very thin and soft. So, you know, it's highly sensitive. So you don't want to put, you know, like a, a bug spray on it. But this, again, because it's anti-inflammatory, it's wound healing. So any bites they already have are really helped. And it keeps the, the biting flies and in, uh, mosquitoes and everything away from them. Um, so this is another one of my other concoctions that I use out here at the barn for them. And this one is 50% DMSO and 50% wild oregano. So, and we, I have some formulas on the blog using DMSO and wild oregano together because the DMSO drives the wild oregano deep into the tissues. Um, so it can penetrate a lot further than just wild oregano on its own. So definitely check out the blog for that because I have a number of concentrations you can try. This one for the horses is very strong with 50% DMSO because they use it topically because they get abscesses. They can, um, I mean, I've had one, but some horses get it more frequently on their hoof. So it's like they're, they get like an infection in their lower leg or in their hoof and it, it, it's basically an abscess. And then just like with Crohn's, that abscess needs to create a drainage tunnel so it can drain out of the body. So when I put this on the horses and I put it around, um, oh, look at these, look at these three. They're so cute. Hang on. <laughs> oh. Oh, my, oh my gosh. This is, this is total deep meditation here. I love it. Um, Relax so, it. Yeah. So I'm going to show you on her hoof if I can. This is really hard to see. Uh, there, okay. So, can you see where I'm pointing? No. There, does that, does that work? I uh, guess I can now. Okay, so on a horse, even though the infection might be inside the hoof capsule, I put the wild oregano DMSO all around this coronet band and the back of the heel because the DMSO drives it down and just putting it, the DMSO will, will travel it to where it needs to go, basically. Mm -hmm. And it can clean up a hoof abscess in as little as a couple days. Wow. It's super fast. It's super effective. Can you see what's in here? 
Uh, this paste? Uh, yes. So this is a mixture of zinc oxide and wild oregano oil. Oh. So to make this, all you do is like you take this container and you put, I don't know, maybe fill it a quarter full with wild oregano, just straight out of, you know, Joy of the Mountains or NAHS. And then you can order zinc oxide powder off of Amazon. It's really cheap. Um, and get a, get a pharmaceutical grade so it's ground nice and fine. And then you just mix in enough zinc oxide to make it into a paste like this wow. that's sticky. Uh -huh. So that when you put it on the skin, it's not going to just drip or fall off. So, so then what I use this for is, again, horses in a rainy climate can get they call it rain rot and they can basically get a fungal infection on their skin oh, wow. or they get a fungal infection in their hoof called thrush mm -hmm. so you take this and you just you can like soak if it's a big crack you might want to soak this in cotton wool and stuff it in or just take a q-tip and just kind of pack it into wherever it's cracked or again you just apply it topically Mm -hmm. um, the other way this is really great is if you have a wound that's infected, but you also want to dry it out because the zinc oxide is extremely drying. That's why it work, this formula works so well with fungus. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the three remedies I wanted to tell everyone about today. And of course, they, they work for, I use this um, for my, my dogs too. Like sometimes they'll get, my one dog, he gets these weird um, skin things. And I notice it, and then I increase his probiotics and they go away. So huh. it's obviously gut related. Well, anything skin related comes yeah. from gut. Um, but in the meantime, I'll just put even one or two applications of this on topically. So I'm treating it from the gut, but I'm also treating it topically. One last thing, because most people have a dog or a cat. When you're getting that dog or cat neutered, and they make you put that horrible cone on their head, or your dog or cat has surgery, mm -hmm. if you put diluted wild oregano, so a six to one dilution, so six drops of organic olive oil to one drop of wild oregano, you put that solution right on or around the surgical incision, your pet will not touch that. They'll lick it once and they'll be like, eh, and they won't oh, touch it. Oh, they'll be like, spicy, no, no. <laughs> exactly, so you don't have to put the cone on them. All you do is when you see them go to start licking it, put another application on it. So and, and then say it so it doesn't burn them it, as well. Yeah, seven to one is fine for genitalia, but strong enough to keep them from licking it. Awesome. If, but you know the thing with these horses too, they understand the wisdom of that plant. Like I have a number of them that ask me to put it in their mouth, and I'm like, "You've got to be joking!" And they go, "No, no." And so I squirt, and they're like, "No, no, no," yeah. and then they ask for more. And that's when I know, oh, they must be dealing with, you know, maybe some kind of intestinal site or something because they know. Like my one horse, she asked for six squirts of wild oregano in her wow. mouth. She took it by mouth. Um, and then she was like, okay, that's enough. So, you know, the, the animals really are connected very strongly to their body and they know what they need. And, you know, we can learn a lot by following their, their example. Can you see them in the background there? I can.